60 mile an hour gusts had this scaffolding swinging in Jersey City during the nor'easter. In Philadelphia, a man was killed by a blowing sign. The storm flooded roads and train stations along the east coast. Beach erosion is a big problem after giant waves gouged the shoreline. It's about to get a lot easier to predict storms like this, and our Jan Crawford found out why. I think that's a tornado. This week saw deadly tornadoes, violent waves, and torrential rain. But meteorologists soon will have a new tool to better predict incoming storms, a weather satellite more than 22,000 miles above the Earth called GOES-16. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration calls it high definition from the heavens. Stephen Voles is a NOAA administrator. GOES is better, faster, higher resolution, more information, and new information that we haven't had before. And lift off. Launched two months ago, it can identify images other than clouds, like ash and smoke. Its first images unveiled yesterday showed fires burning in Mexico, clouds over Florida and the Northeast. When fully operational in November, GOES-16 will provide images at four times the resolution of current satellites and will be able to take pictures of an individual storm every 30 seconds. Radar systems now can only scan a storm every five to six minutes. This greater resolution with a higher speed will allow us to actually see in real time storms and events as they're occurring. The satellite can measure storm intensity by tracking lightning strikes. Experts like Louis Uccellini, director of the National Weather Service, say GO-16 would have been a great help in a deadly weather week like this one. There's no doubt in my mind that it would have made, it, made a difference in the way we were uh, following these systems. That means more accurate forecasts and earlier warnings, crucial information that can save lives. Jan Crawford, CBS News, Suitland, Maryland.